Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to calculate area using double latitude. In order for you to calculate your area using double latitude, you will use your data notice and data listing. The value you have on your data notice and your data listing. Here I have my data notice and data listing. 17.167. This, this, this is negative sign minus 17.157. For my data notice, why do my data is still as well? So, the first thing is you bring out what you have on the first station 17.167 plus 17.167 is going to be coming out, each value will be coming out two times. So, what we have this addition of these two will give, give us this. Since this one has appeared two times, so we come to the next box, bring what you have outside there. This is plus. You add it together, it's going to give us this value. Then you bring it up again the second time, it's going to give you this value. So, since this one has appeared two times, so we come to the next box, we have minus 17.457 there. So, addition of these two is going to give us this value, 19.245. Then you bring this one out the second time, 17.157. So, we have this value of 10. Why the last one minus? 1.044 which give us this you bring it up again minus 1.044 which give us 0 0.000 the principle behind this thing is at the end of the day after you calculate everything it must give you a value of 0 0.000 which means that everything is well calculated so after you are done with your data matrix value which is this so you bring out your multiplication sign. Now we are working with our data listing values, which we have minus 0 0.694. Here we can see it's minus 0 0.694. Then on the five points, one, two, three, four, five, on the fifth point, it's going to give you your next data listing, which is 39.493. Here you can see, then on the next, on the fifth point again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0 0.241, the next value is 0 0.21, write the last form minus 39.013, you count 5 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's going to give you, so we have it here, minus 39.013. So what you do is to subtract this by this is going to give us this this by this will give us this this by this will give us this by this by this will give us this this here is negative value we have a negative value this one is also negative value these two are positive this multiply by this will give us a positive value this multiply by this will give us positive value so that was why i was able to achieve this right on this on the body i have summation of all negative negative which is this and this, that is this plus this, which I have this. By summation of all positive, which is one thing I see, that is this plus this. You can see we have this. Then after you add both, after you have the summation of your all negative and summation of all positive, then you come here that you now say summation of your positive minus summation of your negative. That is, that is summation of your positive one four zero zero point nine zero six eight five four minus fifty two point six three nine eight seven. We give us this value here one three four eight point two six six nine eight four. Now we have two a is equal to that value. That is this age representing our area. So area divided by 2 now is going to give us a value which is this. Area divided by 2 now will give us a value which is 67.133 meters square for your bike, for your area computation using double altitude. To calculate for double departure, it's going to be other way around. You know, we use data mappings to represent this. Why like this is represented by data history? It will be other way around. That is, 
this one is coming first before this. That is, it's going to be this one will be here, here. This one will be here on a straight line. Then you now multiply it by this. This will come here. Multiply by this. It will be other way around. You are working with this and multiply by this. Thank you.